All right, so that's enough of the news. Let me quickly circle back. I talked about Satama earlier. I'm not talking about them anymore, but let me circle back on some of the other ones because I've gotten some feedback. Um, there's the coverage on liberal financial is right now the top episode across the entire podcast because I was one of the first to cover it. However, I got some feedback on that one. I also got some feedback on Drip, and the feedback on Drip was not unexpected. I did expect to get that kind of flack. However, I didn't expect people to be so adamant about their stance, and I want to address that right here, right now. First, let's talk about Libero Financial and just give you a status update. I have, since it launched, which is a couple days ago, it has performed the way that they said it would perform. I've been able to take profits from it. The sell fees are very low. And I want to clarify a couple of points people didn't understand. Because what's happening is people are talking about Titano, which is a different but yet similar. See, Libero was forked from Titano. So they're similar in what it does. The problem is Libero has many mechanics added to it that were not in place on Titano. So you can't draw them to be the exact same thing. They're not the same thing. They are completely unique. You've got to say no. Here's what it is. This do this, 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 this is what's there, this is what's missing. Da, 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 da. That's that's important. And I don't think people understand it. I really don't. But the truth is, in Libero, what I said in my episode, they've tried to solve the problem of a loss of value over time. That's the important takeaway of it. It has nothing to do or less to do, I should say, with whether you make money or not. That's only one aspect, right? It's the burn mechanic that's built into it, transactional burn mechanic that they have, the the way that they're doing the rebasing, where it's trying to be a positive rebasing, the fact that it has the anti-will that appears to be working clean, and the fact that the graph continually goes up and positive, and the fact that you're, it doesn't even matter how many tokens you hold, it's basically your stake, and your stake is whatever it is. It is continually grown. And then the, the rewards that get added to your wallet, in addition to the positive rebase together, seems to have solved that problem of general rebase tokens, which is that they lose value. So these mechanics, many of these mechanics are nowhere, can't be touched by anybody else. Tatano doesn't come close to it. It do, That's why they're able to offer a higher APR because they're stabilizing the price to a point that it's it, when it moves up, it's not having the degradation effect of the rebase token. So people aren't understanding it and they're arguing with me essentially and I'm trying to tell them, no, it's a completely different thing. Some people said, well, their community's toxic. Whose is it? At this point, I've called out. You listen to my show. Every, almost every coin, not all, but almost every coin has a toxic community because that's what they promote because they go after shillers. I can't hold that against uh, Titano or Libero because they almost all do it. So at this point, I'll call it out if I see it. I didn't see that, but apparently people were getting banned for asking questions. Okay, I've invited the team to the show. If they want to come to the show, we can talk it out. But as far as what I've seen, I can't really hold that against them because ultimately I only assessed it based on its performance. Did it perform based on what they said they were going to do? That answer is yes, and they've continually done it. And I said multiple times, don't YOLO into it and make sure you take profits because we don't know if it's sustainable. That's the only border. But the rest of the stuff is like endemic to every crypto because it's part of the nature of toxic crypto from my perspective at least i don't see that they're any a different than anybody else personal opinion the other one was drip and drip i said it's basically an mlm pyramid scheme and i had responses that said well what isn't it's different because again you, you, everybody's focusing on the money we're making lots of money get one drip and the, 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 that's cool but that's about the money, not about the presentation and the, what I see is a lack of sustainability. The numbers don't make sense. The circulating supply doesn't make sense for the price movement. That means it's very close to what Squid Game was doing, which turned out to be a rug pull. I don't know that it is or isn't. It might be legit, but when I hear people say, yeah, I just set up five different wallets. I collect them on pyramid. Deep, deep, deep. I, to me, that's House of Cards. At that point, when you're admitting that you're basically gaming the system and we know that probably the vast majority are doing that, why can I trust it? That's the problem with pyramid schemes and ones that are anonymous in nature is that I don't know who's gaming the system, who's not. Those people could just yank all their stuff out. Somebody said, well, you can't move your money. Deep, deep, deep. Okay, that's problem number two because somebody you're locking funds and somebody's able to benefit from it because I don't believe it's renounced. So now why should I trust you? Like it has so many red flags. It's not even about whether you make money. I said you could probably make money on it, but I wouldn't trust it. So if you're going to be in it, do it. Make sure you take profit. Don't lock it. You know, don't stay. 
And I don't know how much profit you can get unless you put five figures in. Well, most investors that I would talk to are not putting five figures into these projects. I hope not. So that's why I said I don't really trust Drip. On Boda V2, I've, I thought I was pretty clear on what I said, but I got some stuff got misinterpreted. Some stuff was read wrong. I think everybody missed the key point I was saying. Your website and the white paper are not accurate and clear as to what's going on. So as I'm reading it, I'm reading it based on the data you gave me. So if something is not correct, like they talked about the billboards, yes, they did a billboard thing. Cool. I said, that means it's not done. They came back and said, yeah, we did in LA. What they don't understand, and I invited them to the show because I want to talk to them about it. But what, I, what I'm saying is marketing is a strategy. It's not a task. So you can't just say, okay, put billboards, move on. No, McDonald's consistently puts billboards and they strategically place them everywhere that they know a McDonald's is going to be. Why? Because they know they can show you those freaking fries that are tasty as all get out and you're likely to pull over and get some. Even if you don't normally eat the burger, you probably get the fries and the salad. So they know that. So even though they're sitting on bags, they still do active marketing on billboards because they know it's effective. The problem with crypto is that crypto is not a visual thing. So the billboard has to do something very specific. Angie Eco has done billboards. They were not able to get any volume either because crypto is not a visual thing. That doesn't mean you don't do billboards. It means you got to rethink the messaging and you got to rethink the location. Doing in LA didn't make any sense to me, but it's a strategy. So when's the next time you're going to do billboards and where are you going to do it? And what is going to be the imagery? Like that's the thought process and none of them got it. So I was trying to get them on the show so I could talk through. This is what I'm seeing in terms of your loss of value and the inability to gain it back. You're, you're treating it as a task. Don't treat it as a task. It's a strategy. And as a strategy, you got to do more than what you're doing. So I think that got misrepresented. Some stuff was incorrect about the, the swaps and NFTs. That's cool, but your site doesn't show me any of that. So how do I know that it is or isn't? And if I'm a searching person, which I'm assuming most are, I don't see it on your site. So how can I know it's done? I see that it's not done. You're saying it is done. I'm telling you that your website doesn't tell me it's done. That means you're not done. <laughs> like that's how I think of it. Strategic, not task. And so I'm not going to change my messaging. I just want to put out there that there's been a lot of responses to my, and a good, good dialogue. Ultimately, it means I want these guys on the show so that we can have the dialogue back and forth so we can talk it out. If they want the smoke, the Boda team has been invited for sure. Libro has been invited for sure. So I can talk to them and you'll hear when I give them the strategy view, it, it's going to be an aha for them, I hope.